Your brand isn't static. It's a living thing that responds to its environment. Changes big and small happen all the time. If you have a website with millions of products, thousands of pages and multiple brands, making changes is time consuming. And it's easier to deviate from brand consistency. Over the years, a beautifully designed website can, well, turn into a bit of a Frankenstein. There's an easier way, a way that's designed to be flexible and consistent from the very beginning. It's called atomic design. It uses atoms, molecules, and organisms to create something completely adaptable, helping your website to flourish. Atoms are the most basic components, the building blocks, things like buttons, fonts, and search fields. When atoms come together, they form molecules. Molecules are components like heroes, alerts, and search navigations. They are simple, portable, reusable components that can be dropped anywhere. When atoms combine with molecules, or molecules with molecules, we create organisms. Organisms are things like headers, footers, and stack forms. They make your website more engaging and easier to use. So, how does this work in practice? Well, here are three separate atoms. They don't do much by themselves, but combine them into a molecule and suddenly it can do something. We can search. That's okay, but I think we can jazz it up. Let's add an image, in this case, by joining an atom to our molecule. Now we have a far more beautiful and engaging organism. Crucially, because we've used atomic design, any changes we want to make, we only have to make at atom level. Want to change the button color across your whole website, across those millions of products and thousands of pages? It only takes one change, one little atom, and everything updates. Organisms are sections of a website, but they need something to hold them all together. Templates are the glue. A template is a home for organisms. We can see how components look and function together. For example, we can take our search organism and apply it to a homepage template. We can try it out and move it around. We can also set some standards, like image size, so even when the content changes, this standard stays the same. Finally, that brings us to pages. Pages show us the interface with real content. So, we've taken a small and rather abstract atom and built up to a concrete web page. This is what users see and experience. Now we can test the design. Does everything look great and function as it should? If the answer is no, then we simply loop back and modify our molecules, organisms, and templates to better address our needs. Or we can create a new pattern from our atoms and molecules. And that's atomic design. It's atoms, the smallest UI elements, that make up molecules, the doing components, that make up organisms, the sections of an interface, held together by templates, the glue, to finally create pages, what the world sees. It's innovative design that saves time and maintains brand consistency, no matter how many changes or on what device your website appears on.